In this video, we are going to take a look at labeling our parcels. Now, we chose not to label them when we made them. And in my opinion, when we do that, if we label them when we make them, it just creates a mess because it duplicates the labels and we end up deleting stuff and the labels don't go away. And we're left with a whole mess of labels. So I like to do it after the fact. So under the parcel drop down, we're going to add parcel labels and we can do single segment or multiple segment. If we select the Add Parcel Labels, it brings up the labeling dialog box. So it gives us the same options, however, we can choose different styles and whatnot. So I'm going to go down Parcels, Add Parcel Labels, Multiple Segment. Now there is no way to do all these at once. It's click, select the label you, or lot you want to label, and direction clockwise or counterclockwise, and hit enter. So click, enter, click, enter. Yes, it's a bit tedious, but then you can see exactly what you're getting. So I've gone and added labels to all these and they're quite large in the, in the way, so I'm gonna shrink them down a bit. Just do the one to 200 scale. Uh, maybe we'll go a little bit larger, one to five. So we can see them, and as we see, they're overlapping. They're, this one's 359 degrees, this one's 179 degrees. So it's giving us all different kinds of options here and showing us different information. Now, there are ways of dealing with this. So this one being 359, this one being 179. If you select the label itself, up in the command line, there's a reverse label. So that will reverse it to be the 179 degrees. And whether we hit clockwise or counterclockwise, we would still have to do that on some of these. So once you've run the command, you can select multiples of these. Now, where you can't do it uh, when you're creating them, but you can select multiple labels to reverse. And there's also another command. So this label here is direction over distance. This one's distance over direction. So there is a flip label command as well. Flip label. So this one's now distance over direction and it all works on consistency. Do you want your drawings to be consistent or do you want them to look really out of place? Now on complicated subdivisions, Maybe the labels are getting in the way. Maybe you can't see through them. Maybe there's so much overlap because of all the information you have to display. There is a way we can convert these into tags and display all the information in a table. So it'll be a, a digit L1, L2, L3 for all the straight sections, C1, C2, C3 for the curved sections. So if we go under parcels, add tables, we can do a line, curve, segment, area, etc. So we, let's just add a line table. And so there's going to ask us to choose our table style. And I'm going to just select the no tag selected. I'm going to window all of my labels and hit enter. Civil 3D says that label styles have been selected that are not in tag mode. So I want to convert all these selected label styles to a tag mode. And we have 39 labels. Selected, we'll hit OK. And I'm going to place the table just off to the right here. If we zoom in, Civil 3D has converted all the lines to a tag. So we start off line four, and I did the command before. We can renumber these. So parcel, add tables, renumber tags. So I'm going to select. Uh, can I go into settings and do that automatically? No, I cannot. So this again appears to be a one by one, L2, L1, L2, L3, L4. So you can go through. We apparently can create duplicates as well. So make sure your commands are set up properly. So I'm just gonna delete those. I'll delete that table. We'll re-add the labels. and go through that process again. And I'll show you how to reset the table tags because you might end up doing this, you might end up deleting some lots. So under parcels, 
add parcel labels. I'm just going to go to the parcel label dialog box now. Table tag numbering. Line start number one. Curve start number one. Renumbering if we want to and just replace those to one. So now I can go to parcels. Add tables. And if you do segment label, the segments, I believe it'll grab the curves as well. Convert all. Okay. And yes, let's grab the curves. So we have lines and curves, and all the information is in the table. The length, the direction, the radius. And we can take a look at the options we get in the table for labeling. So length, direction, radius. We can double click on this and just see our other options that we can use. Northings, Eastings, core, dire core directions, start directions, etc. So instead of displaying it on the drawing itself, we can put it into a nice little tiny label and put it into a table. Likewise, we can do that with the parcel areas as well. Parcel, add tables, add area, select all your parcels, and place them in a table. Now, as we see, these are out of order because we've ended up deleting and going back and forth we can reset these. So under the parcel drop down, edit parcel, renumber, rename. It'll bring up our renumber, rename parcels. So my site is parcels. I want to start at one, incrementing by one. I'm going to hit OK. And I'm going to trace over the parcels in the order I want to renumber them in. So it's going to start at one up here and work our way around the subdivision to the end. So I'm going to hit enter, I'm going to hit enter again, so we see lot 1 here to lot 52 down here. Our table has adjusted itself, lot 1 to 52. And we've gone through and labeled our subdivision, we've changed some numbers, and we've added area labels and edited it a bit. So that is a just a quick parcel labeling exercise and that's doing the labels and then the table tags and reversing them if we need to, reversing and flipping.